in a not too distant future, a mysterious phenomenon known as <laughs> summoned the interdimensional creature known as MAD to attack the human race. A small city in Japan became humanity's last safe haven, but now they were surrounded by monsters and could be attacked at any time. In their final hope, the Japanese people decided to bet everything in a power they were very familiar with, pop. Idols. This is the story of those brave heroines and their struggle during this terrible violent war. Yay! This is so epic! As anyone could get from the narration just now, the plot in this game is a pile of shit. There is nothing good to be expected, neither from the story nor the characters. Yes, the characters. They really don't make this any better. The events are basically something like You are so moe! Stop being so tsundere! This guy is such a retare! He doesn't even have the courage to make a move on us! Hey, he made a move on us! Let's kick his ass! That's right! A bunch of lines you have certainly heard a million times before. Well, this is a game about pop idols fighting against the sound of censorship. So, we kinda expected the story in the events to be stupid. But this wasn't quite enough. The script is also a mess. You will see people talking with the protagonists about living together in the office and giving tips about their jobs as pop idol and manager before they get the job. Sometimes, the cutscene of a game can be amazing to the point where they convince you the story is good. However, I guarantee this is not the case for Omega Quintet, as there is nothing impressive in those basic flash animations. Hey look, it's Emote! No, not actually. This is pretty much the same thing, just much less impressive and relevant. Every single event used this boring visual novel style, but it should not be a huge problem if the drawings are good, and the art by Fukahire will- It's the same fucking characters! Yes, that's true. Even the main heroines are guilty of the same crime. They are cute and all, but they are also extremely generic. In fact, the game makes this even more evident when you are editing the 3D models of the heroines. You can completely transform them to make them look exactly like the older girls in the game, simply by changing their hairstyles. Now for the gameplay. The system in this game can be quite tricky to understand sometimes. Luckily, Omega Quintet gives us tutorials. Lots and lots of tutorials. This is the perfect example of how you should never do a tutorial in a video game. Just by showing a bunch of text one after another with some occasional pictures makes it really boring. The tutorials come in the wrong order too, teaching you about stuff you are not even able to use yet. Most compile heart games do things like this, and I freaking hate it. It's really lazy. The best way to make tutorials is to have them during the gameplay showing you how things work while you try to do stuff. Showing the characters talking about the game system during the tutorial can be very meta, but it helps to keep the player interested in what's going on, because it feels like the tutorial makes part of the story. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When you hear that noise, 
Press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. Like most Compile Heart games, instead of traveling around the world, you will always come back to your main base at the beginning and the end of every chapter. Wow! What a mansion! What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. The first thing you will notice is that there isn't much to do here. Well, at least you can run around a little and see how everything runs smoothly at 60 frames per second. Obviously, it's not like this is Killzone or something. Look at those graphics! Aside from the HD resolution, I'm sure even the PS2 could run something much better than this. And that's not all. When you put more stuff moving at the same screen at the same time, the frame rate quickly gets lower than 30 frames per second. The whole game has 8 dungeons. Most of them are small, except for the two that are huge and full of places to explore. But there is a catch. See those red marks in the map? Those are places you cannot go. Yes, each character has a unique field action. Stuff like smashing walls, controlling machines, jump higher, walking in poisonous places. Those field actions have levels, so every time you find a new place, it will be blocked by a wall or a door. And when you try to open it, a message will play saying, your level for this field action is not enough. And the character will say, sorry, I'm still not good enough. This is freaking stupid. Can you imagine if you are playing Breath of Fighter? And when you try to cut something that is in your way, a message pops up saying Sorry you, you are not good enough to cut through this yet, because you suck. But of course this doesn't happen, because Ryu is a badass and he doesn't give a shit! This field action level thing is just a cheap excuse to force you to do backtracking in the same dungeon over and over again, just to give you the impression the game takes longer to be finished. The combat system isn't that bad. It feels like a spiritual successor to Agarass's battle system, which means it has all the same problems. I guess the only thing we can praise about this game is the soundtrack. It's surprisingly good. Yeah, except for the vocal tracks, those are just some boring pop idol songs. But I guess this was intentional. Okay, I think we better stop this right now. I'm getting depressed already. I know. This is the first RPG that is exclusive to the PlayStation 4. And it sucks. This is definitely not what I was expecting. Maybe you are expecting for something more like this. What the... This is amazing. What game is this? Ha! Not Stalin yet. You can go back to your lame pop idols. Oh, man. I feel so embarrassed for buying this. I would feel embarrassed for selling this. I wonder how did they advertise this game? Ah, I'm so tired, P. I'm all alone again today, P. Life has not been easy since I moved to Japan, P. Social life is ruined forever, Pee!